Hi guys, Birdie here with Redbird Designs and I'm going live to paint a truck. The ceramic uh, little mini truck. So this one, um, so we've got uh, everything figured out for the ceramics um, kit wise. Uh, so all of our kits, or uh, all of the, um, hi Stacy. Uh, all of the kits are available on the website now. Um, we've got uh, the small truck, which I'm going to paint right now. And then we've got the large truck. And um, we've got the gnome listed there. Uh, we've got the, the tiny tree, which takes the little votive candles. We've got the small tree, the medium tree and not the large tree. We've decided not to do the large tree because one, well, it's an expensive, it's expensive to get as is. And um, I just wasn't happy with the way it was packaged. So we're gonna skip on the um, large tree. So um, on the website, you can purchase um, just the ceramics with the light uh, and no paint or anything like that and you supply that um, and it will come with instructions to how to paint it and then um, then you can get the paint kit as well uh, so either option no paint or paint kit and the paint kit will come with um, little uh, portion cups of paint um, it will come with um, some Mod Podge sealer in the gloss um, and then you'll also get some of this snow tech in it. The snow tech is just kind of some thick paint. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, I guess. And because it's white. Um, do you have any of those on hand? Which one are you asking for that I have on hand? I have a few on hand. So that's the other thing. Uh, right now we are in pre-order sales. So I don't have a... Um, a stock or I don't have stock on hand um, what I'm gonna do because I just don't know uh, how much to get and what you guys are gonna want I am doing a pre-order so we will run the pre-order now until I think maybe Monday or Tuesday and see how it goes and then with all the orders that we get we will place an order with Gare, get those here. It takes a week to ship and then they sh they'll be ready for you guys if, and we'll get kits created and, and all of that. Um, and then we'll see how it goes. So we're kind of just, this is something new for us. So we are in pre-order state, which means we don't have um, any on hand. I have a few just from what I ordered, uh, but nothing substantial right now. Just something to paint today. I'm home. So yeah, Stacy, you. Uh, I noticed that you had uh, ordered one already. You must have been watching the website. So I literally hit like publish the the listing, and I got this order in. <laughs> it was hilarious. So um, I I don't have. I think you ordered the small truck, and I don't have that on hand right now. Sorry. Um. Anyways. So let me get the, uh, but I will be able to get, fill uh, your order in uh, the other gnome kit will get ordered. So I'll have that for you. Okay, let me just get the link in here real quick. Okay, so like I said, uh, pre-order now until probably Monday, and then we will um, place our order with Gare, the ceramics company, and then they'll ship it to us, and then we'll distribute um, all pre-orders. Uh, so all of that is available on the website, and all of the information in regards to dates and things are on there too. Like I said, you can get them just with the just the ceramic only with the with the light or you can add paint 
uh, kit to it and it will come with everything you need to finish it. Let's see. Let's see, make sure. Hi, Jenny, Stacy. Let's see who else. Janet. Okay. Um, and then I also, so you'll be, if you order like the truck, let's say, you'll be able to refer to this video on how to paint it, but it will also come with written instructions too. Um, everything that will come in the kit and then what you might need, like something to protect your table with or, you know, things like that. And then step by step, paint this, paint that um, for guidelines. Okay, let's paint this guy. Um, so I'm going to do a red truck and for the paint kits online, um, I'll have all the colors that would just come with the kit, kind of just standard colors like a red truck and a green tree. Um, but there'll be also an option that if you didn't want the standard colors, if you wanted to go outside of the norm and get something like a teal truck, or maybe you get the tree and you want to paint it, um, gray and white or blue or whatever there's a section on our website that says um i'd like to switch colors so that's going to be available too so i'm going to just start i'm just using a chip brush just a raggedy old chip brush right now because i really want to just get the base coat the first thing that you should do is wipe down your ceramic for any of the ceramic dust which i've already done just a wet a damp excuse me, a damp towel uh, to wipe out any of that dust. And let me just move my stuff a little bit more. And I'm gonna point you down to my table so you can just kind of watch the painting happening there. There we go, I think that's better. Okay, so we're gonna just start by putting down a really uh, thin base coat and we just want to cover um, the entire thing so it's almost like we're priming it and I'm not worried about you know getting I'm literally going to cover the entire thing and then we'll come back with black and gray and and uh, do the tires in black and all of that So I'm not sure who all uh, was interested in the truck. Um, but if you did get a truck, what color would you paint it? Would you go with the red or would you do a blue truck? And I feel like my TV is really loud. Can you guys hear my TV? One second. My son's watching TV, they're home today. I can hear myself think. <laughs> Stacy said she'd paint it red too. Yeah, I was gonna do teal, but with Christmas, I feel like you need to do red, right? So this is a really bright red right now, but again, it's just the base coat. We're gonna add some black to it and kind of distress it out and make it darker. So you really want to just make sure you get in all of the crevices and really get um, your truck covered this first base coat. So almost like we're priming it. So like I said, I'm painting the wheels and everything right now. And this chip brush is nice because it can kind of get into all those crevices without, you know, ruining maybe a nice brush. It's meant to kind of just get everywhere with those crazy bristles.
and I am uh, just hitting the bottom mostly just to get the the wheels here and kind of just right in this area I'm not gonna probably paint the entire bottom but just maybe some area just kind of areas that you might see if it was sitting on a shelf And like I am not paying attention to my tree um, and being very careful there. I just want to make sure to get in, like I said, all the crevices. We want to cover this entire thing to start with. So the little tree does not, or the little truck and tree does not come with the bulbs. Um, it will only come with the little candle and so it sits underneath inside of here and lights up. Okay. And then also make sure that you just kind of stick your brush into the window and just Push that paint around in there so you get all the surfaces inside the little window there. And same with the uh, front lights. Get all that surface painted. Isn't that cute? So cute. I love the gnome, but geez, I think the truck's my favorite. Actually, I don't have a favorite. I love them all. Okay. So I'm just double checking that all my surfaces are painted. Truck surfaces, I should say. I'm getting in my little tail lights too. There we go. All right. I think I need to get a tree and a gnome too. They're so fun to paint. Um, these would be great for a little home party with family and friends and turn some Hallmark movies on. Hot cocoa or wine. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit of green now and get my tree coated with green same thing I'm just needing to get that base coat on to start with and acrylics dry super fast so I mean part of my um, truck is already dry so I'm just gonna grab it by the truck here and like I said these chip brushes work great if you get a kit with the paint you will get a chip brush in the kit and I'm just kind of pushing that paint inside there and wiggling my brush around because the tree has all of these uh, awesome ridges to make it look like a tree and so sometimes they can be kind of hard to paint. truck was way easier to paint than this tree. So I'm not, again, not kind of, I've really just messily put some green on there and I'm just covering that truck right up because we're going to put another coat on there. 
but you could take a little more time and maybe get a smaller brush for a more cleaner coat. But like I said, we're just gonna get this first coat on. We'll come back in with detail later. I think that's it. Got it. You just want to make sure all your surface is covered. Okay, let me see if I can see comments here. Okay, so the next step is, is now that I'm going, now that I've got everything covered, I'm gonna go in uh, with uh, black and red. So just a little bit of black, I wanna darken my red up a little bit. Um, and I'm creating kind of a rustic truck, I guess. So I'm gonna add some rustic features to it. I'm gonna switch to just a flat brush, something like this. And I'm gonna grab a little bit, just a titch of black. Black, you do not need a lot of to change the color. Um, it goes a long way. I'm gonna scoop out some of this red and mix it right in my palette. And I've got too much black already, I can tell. Just a little bit black. Okay, so it makes this really uh, dark maroon color. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can bring that over to you guys. So the uh, darker red, the more black. So it makes this, it almost looks um, orangey in the screen to me but it's a really pretty maroon color. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and add my second coat to just the areas of the um, truck that I want. And again, depending on the color of red that you want your truck will determine how much black, so. You can see the difference of this really bright red, the base red that I put on, and then there's my maroon color. How tall are the small and medium trees? So the, uh, let me grab them. I think the medium is uh, 13 inches tall. Let's see if I can grab my website and see. So ceramic sizes, the small Christmas tree is nine inches tall. Or is that what you asked? The small is nine. Yes, nine and a half for the small and the medium is 14 inches. So ruler wise, nine and a half is right here. Nine and a half is right here from the bottom of my table. And then 13 is about right here for the tree sizes. Okay. So this is where I can come back and clean up that grain that I'd gotten on my truck. And I am still not very precise around like my windows and stuff because I'm gonna come over that with um, a gray so it will cover that up. But like, 
for instance, right around here, I just messily put my color in there and then I'll come in on the window with a gray color and that will cover up that color. And it looks very, very patchy right now. Because <laughs> some of it's dry and some of it's not. And I'm just gonna messily get in my uh, wheel well there because I'm gonna cover that wheel with black. So we don't have to be too precise there either. So if you're just joining us, we are painting the vintage or the truck and tree, the small one. And we have all the details worked out. So our website is set up now. If you'd like to order one, we are doing pre-orders uh, at this point. So we will run pre-orders for a couple days, five days maybe until next maybe I don't know, Tuesday or something. We'll see how it goes. And then we'll order. And once we get the order, then we will deliver your uh, purchases. And you can order two different ways. You can order just the ceramic and the light kit. So just the plain ceramic. And then you supply the kit and the brushes and everything to finish it and then the other option is, is we supply the paint and the brushes and everything you'll need to finish your ceramic. So a couple different options there. If you do order the paint kit, it comes with the paint, brushes, um, it will come with a little bottle of Mod Podge for you to seal it, and it will also come with um, snow text, which is just fake snow that you can apply to if you want. And what else does it come with? Oh, both will come with instructions on how to finish it. So either it, whether you buy the um, kit or the ceramic with uh, paint or not, you'll still get instructions on how to finish it. And the instructions will kind of let you know what you need to. Okay. So I love that color way better. And it looks very terrible right now because it's still wet and splotchy, so. Some areas might need a little bit more second coat. So if you were going to paint a tree, tell me what color you're going to paint it. Or, I mean, the truck. What would be your color choice? Okay. So next I'm going to add some shade to my tree. I'm going to do half of my green in with white and then half with black. So I want a little bit of a darker green and then a little bit of some lighter green. So I'm mixing up some white with my green. I'm just going to dab it in a few areas. I don't want to cover it completely. I'm just adding some different color for some texture. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of black, very, very small amount. And we'll mix 
that out and get a dark shade. And I'm going to then just come out and dab in different areas. If you see any white spots peeking through, you can get those covered in, clean up maybe where you got red on there. These ceramics would make great uh, little paint parties at home. All right. So let me show you that. So you can kind of see I've got about three different shades of green on there. And I just dabbed in different areas those different colors just to give my tree some a little bit of dimension. Trees aren't all the same green anyways. So you can kind of play around with those colors and uh, darken the green and lighten the green and just dab those colors on the tree. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I got a couple areas on my truck that just need a light second coat. So if you see any areas after you've painted your tree um, that, you know, look terrible, touch those up next. But it's okay also if it does if it's not perfect because it's supposed to be a vintage truck. So we don't want it to have the perfect paint job. Um, it's supposed to be kind of old and rusty anyways. Let me just make sure I can see your guys' comments. Okay. So the next thing is is I'm going to uh, grab some black and paint the tires. And um, I'm actually going to use black to paint the windows too and then I'll add some maybe silver to them. Okay, I'm still just using my flat brush here. And I'm going to paint the entire tire and wheel black. See if I can show you. And then we'll come in with some silver and some, uh, we'll make a little bit of some gray to get the hubcaps. Thanks, Stacy. Are you thinking a little party or just just something to paint? <laughs> You're a Hallmark girl, painting in Hallmark movies. And it's starting to get cold. We had snow on the ground yesterday. 
So it's perfect timing for these fun ceramic Christmas items. Okay, got the wheels. Now I'm going to set it down and I'm going to paint my windows. really creative and maybe paint a little dog in the window or a little person, Santa. These windows on the small truck are kind of small though. I imagine the bigger ones you could do something like that. I still have to get that little bit of the window, but I will get a smaller brush for that. All right, let's switch to something a little smaller. So just a small liner brush. So about three brushes is all you need for this. A chip brush, medium flat and a liner brush or a medium round would work too. Just got a little bit of I carried away with my black on the front here. I'm gonna touch it up. There we go. So windows and tires I'm painting black. You could paint your windows white um, or just a light gray. Okay, so next I'm going to mix a gray and we're going to do the grill and the running boards and um, the bumper. I'm going to paint those gray first and then I'm going to come back over with um, some silver. But silver, some silver paint is a little bit transparent, so I like to put the, like with silver, I like to put gray down first and then cover it with the silver. It seems to create a more true silver. Um, and then like with gold, I like to put down a layer of yellow first and then add the gold to that. So, all right, so we are going to, um, do the bumpers. So just a gray color to start with and then you can add your silver. do my front bumper
and then I did the little grill there and so or gray. And then we will cover it in uh, silver. Um, and you could also do the running boards if you wanted to do those a different color. I'm going to uh, do my hubcaps in gray too though. to get this little handle right here a little gray on the handle of the door so I've got my bumper on the back my bumper and grill on the front my hubcaps and my uh, handle is in gray okay and you could paint the wheel covers in white or whatever you wanted to do there. All right, so now I'm gonna grab some of this silver and add some silver highlights to my window. So I'm just going to add some streaks to the window. I'm not gonna cover it entirely, but just a little couple streaks that will catch the light and make it look like there's a some glint or some light coming out too. A glint of the light, I guess. So just a couple streaks there, and I added some in the front, and then on this side. All right, so if your gray is dry, then you can go ahead and add the silver right on top of that gray and get a really nice silver. What's nice about painting with acrylics, one of the pros about acrylics is, is it dries super fast, so you don't have to wait forever for it to be done. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see the silver in that, see if I can catch the light just right. Probably not. Maybe after it dries we'll be able to see it a little bit better. So I'm going to add silver to my hubcaps. If you're just joining us, we're painting the small truck and tree. And we've got everything figured out for the ceramic kits. They are now available on our website as a pre-order. So we are going to take pre-orders for the ceramics and then once we have After a couple days, I'm thinking sometime next week, we will then take what orders we have and get the purchase into the ceramic company and they take a week to ship and so it will be about a week to two weeks before you get it. We are estimating November 5th, which sounds crazy to say, but it is mid-October. Um, and so you can pre-order now if you want.
to be able to get your ceramic here by November 5th. And you have two options when ordering the ceramics. We're doing um, ceramic and light kit only. Um, you'll get the ceramic, you'll get the lights, whatever, you know, whatever one you choose. Some come with the votive candle and some will come with the light kit with the bulbs and the star. Um, and then you also get instructions on how to paint it. Um, or you can add the uh, paint kit, which will come with all of the paint you need to paint it. It will also come with the glossy Mod Podge to seal it. You'll get a little portion cup of snow tech, which is awesome fake snow for it. You'll get some glitter if you want to use that and some brushes. So all of that comes with the paint kit if you chose to go that route and instructions and you'll get your instructions for that too. So if you do the paint kit, all you really need additional supplies is something to protect the surface you're painting on, a water cup for rinsing your brushes and some paper towels and maybe an apron. <laughs> Perfect time for Hallmark, yes. Perfect time to have a in-home party with friends uh, or family and gather around and put a Hallmark movie on and drink hot cho hot choke hot chocolate or wine and just have a lot of fun with these ceramics. Okay. So that's it you guys. That was let me just make sure I've got everything. Um so what would happen next then is I would want to make sure that this is completely dry. Um, just kind of go over it and touch up any areas that, you know, we still see the white. Um, and then we would do a small or a thin coat, two thin coats of the Mod Podge um, over the entire thing. So you'll do one coat, you'll let it dry really thin, and then a second coat, and you'll get a really nice glossy finish on this. Um, you could also, if if you don't get the paint kit and you didn't want a glossy one, you could get Mod Podge in a matte finish, and that would give you a matte finish instead of the glossy. And then for the snow tech, maybe I'll do a video on that after I get it all sealed, but the snow tech comes on after you seal it, and it's... Let's see if I can get a little bit out. It's just this, it's like sandy paint and glue mixed together. And so you just then just take your finger and put it on different areas where you want your snow to have the buildup there. And that's it. That is how you get the, that's how you paint the truck. So let's see if I can get the light inside to show. too light in here to see the twinkling of the light inside. Maybe you can see it just a little bit. But the candle inside will have the little flicker so it will actually look like it. And you'll see the light through here and through the back. Maybe we need two candles in here. Maybe we'll include two candles so you can have one in the back for the tree and then one in the front for the the light there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Probably not with the daylight. Anyways, that's it guys. Really simple painting. Um, like I said, they are available on our website for pre-order right now. We are taking orders uh, for the next th four or five days and then whatever we have we will um, put our order in, we'll get it shipped here, and then we'll get it to you guys. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. Um, the link to the shop or our website is in the comments, and I hope you guys have a great day. It's Friday, yay, um, and hope you find time to do some painting this weekend or crafting. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.